All right, hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to Fanshawe College's virtual open house. Uh, my name is Connor, and I work in the reputation and brand management department here at Fanshawe. I am your host slash moderator for today's session. And today we are joined by Hassan, who will be speaking about the Applied Aerospace Manufacturing Program right here at Fanshawe College. Hi, Hassan, thanks so much for being here. Uh, how are you doing today? Hi, Connor, thank you so much for having me. I'm doing very well. Hopefully everybody listening in is doing great as well. Yeah, definitely. Well, you know, we hope to get a lot of good information about you here and about the program. Can you just help me out, Hassan, by going to the next slide, please? That second one there? Absolutely. Sure. Awesome. Thanks so much. So before we get going and before I turn things over to Hassan, I just want to go over a couple quick little housekeeping items for everybody that's joining us here. Uh, number one, audience webcams and mics are going to be turned off for this session. So don't worry, no one is going to be able to see or hear you at all. If you do have any questions throughout the session, please use the questions feature. Uh, you should see a speech bubble that has a question mark on it. Just click that and then you should be able to type your question in there. You can ask questions during the presentation and not just at the end. So I find that that's best to do just so that you don't end up, you know, maybe forgetting something uh, by the end of the presentation. And then once I have all those questions, I am gonna gather them on my end and then during the presentation uh, to ask later on inside of our live Q&A, which is going to happen at the end. So we'll have a live presentation uh, right from uh, Hassan for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that, we'll get through the live Q&A. And we hope to get through all the questions in the submitted time. If not, and if you're looking for more info after the session, we will provide you with some contact info, uh, as well as how to book an appointment one-on-one uh, -on -one with one of our Fanshawe recruiters. And the last point I have is that if you have any multiple programs open or running, we do recommend that you take a second just really quickly to close them now since they may compromise your webinar experience. Uh, they may slow down your uh, computer. Uh, we just want to make sure that you have a solid internet connection so that you can fully be attentive to the uh, presentation. So with that said, I'm going to pass it over to Hassan and I will be back a little bit later on for the live Q&A at the end. So Hassan, take it away and uh, welcome. All right, guys, thank you very much. Welcome to the Applied Aerospace Manufacturing uh, virtual session. Really good to have you guys. Uh, as as you can see in my first slide, if you, every time you want to talk about aerospace manufacturing, if you've ever wondered how do aircraft actually fly, right? And uh, obviously, have you all had the privilege of actually riding one? Or most of the time, we actually do travel a lot, not during these times, unfortunately, but we actually do. Um, if you also wondered how the aircraft actually work, if you can see this beautiful gas turbine engine that we have right here, how it actually works, how this was created, and how this actually corresponds in the real world, or if you actually ever thought how the aircrafts are manufactured and assembled, which is a very, very different. It's not like building a car or anything like that. It's very, very difficult. It's very different. It's very time consuming. So all of that stuff, and not to mention if you've ever considered how the safety of all the passengers are are kept in mind are actually protected that's number one ask that you can never compromise on all of these questions are answered for us in the applied aerospace manufacturing as connor mentioned i'm hassan Qureshi. i'm the program coordinator i'm also the professor on this course as well one of the professors actually to help everybody out so just a quick introduction about the program um, as you just saw the the, the basic attributes that we will be going through over this program is a one-year grad cert approved uh, two semester long, which is eight months. We have three intakes every year, January, May, and, and fall term. Uh, this program is basically, is ideally designed for those people who have some sort of engineering background or a diploma or, or some sort of a bachelor's after their high school. Uh, if, if you don't have that and you have a lot of aviation working experience along with with certain courses you can also be selected based on where your current standing is so this course was actually designed a few years ago with with a lot of consultation from all the major aerospace company bombardier and all these guys they actually helped in diamond they actually helped us with a lot of uh, a lot of attributes that they're looking for their future employers and their future uh, personnel in the field of aviation for this to come into so this program location is is London campus. As you can see, is most of the class, classes will be inside the hangar. It will be part of the normal school of aviation now on the campus down in London. Uh, it is Fanshawe has its very own hangar and lots of aircrafts for all our students to work on, be fascinated with. I know I've always been an aviator in my life. It's the first time I saw an aircraft, and I know 
It serves as an inspiration to a lot of people. So you guys will actually be working hands-on and going through all of these aircrafts to understand how they actually work, they're built, and their important stuff out in the market. So I'll give you some of the highlights, what to expect in this program, what you expect to actually learn. Rather than going through all the learning outcomes we discuss one by one, I'm gonna go through all the specific skill you can learn for a good job market out there. So the best of all aviation worlds, Transport Canada, obviously controlling regulations here in Canada. So you'll have a good idea about all their regulations, about how, how they operate, how to get certain approvals and how the certification process for manufacturing of an aircraft or after it's in service is carried out. So I will go through all the rules and regulation in that in this program and also give you an idea what other countries like our friends in the US with Federal Aviation Administration and how they actually correspond to these rules as well. So there's always a direct link between all these aviation companies. So that's something we're gonna go through. We're also gonna be going through real life aerospace case study as part of your second term to discuss serious aviation safety incidents and how they could have been uh, avoided, how they potentially could have been avoided and how they how we are better from that one. Because it's, it's, it's okay to have your mistake identified first, but it's, 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 it's a big, big uh, risk that, that it does repeat itself. So we have to make sure that we work around and have a safety plan all the time. So in our case studies, you can see on your left of your screen, like the two jumbo incident that happened in, in 1977 in the Spanish island of Tenerife, where the KLM and Pan Am 747 collided based on a simple communication error between the control tower and some procedural issues. So we will actually go and discuss an example like this in detail. I go on the Concorde on this crash of the Air France Concorde, the fastest aircraft of its time, how a small little metal piece of strip uh, basically damaged the whole uh, wheel of the landing gear and then actually collapsed and hit the fuel tank and the aircraft actually ex exploded up. And unfortunately, a lot of people lost their lives. So it's our job to make sure that we highlight these things and understand and improve aviation safety for everybody. Also, one of the cool things about this course is it's not just theoretical studies and understanding, is, is you actually get hands-on experience working as a structural assembler. Assembler are those personnel that actually help with connecting of airframes, different fuselage pieces together, or the wings together out in the real world. Bombardier, the Havland, the, all these big companies actually do hire lots of assemblers. So they come in, they can put a lot of pieces together. In Toronto, a lot of our industries are basically uh, our assembly plants. The Havland, Bombardier, all these market in Toronto, they're all big assembly plants. So, after, so for that, an uh, having an assembler quality or structure assembler quality is a very good tool to have. So we have two courses specifically designed to actually help you assist. The, using a river gun and how to do your dimensions and tolerances and all that stuff with all these labs. And the other thing that's the, one of the biggest highlight of this course is the most expensive aerospace software, which is not taught by any other course, CATIA, is actually taught from ground zero. And it's a full semester long course where you actually learn how to design or, build, or go through the existing drawing to find dimensions or part numbers for, for a lot of stuff. Like for example, if you see this gas turbine engine open up on your screen. So if we were to ask you that, oh, could you find the shaft or certain bearing part numbers? Uh, so you would be able to go through this by filtering a lot of images and get the appropriate part number out to write a detailed work instruction or, or any other hardware that's required for, for the operational perspective. So, so if you already have an existing part, but now you're trying to find information or you're trying to do reverse engineering and trying to find uh, or build something. So that software is amazing. Fanshawe is one of the only institutes that actually is teaching from ground zero. And actually we emphasize a lot because a lot of our students actually do want to be design engineers or methods engineers. And this course actually does offer a good complement for that. Their composites is the latest flavor of the day, like I like to call it in aviation these days, because they can't reduce the price of fuel. So how do you reduce the cost effectiveness in flying? Well, we use material like composites where you don't have to use heavy titanium and all the metals. So that's what the whole research every day these days is about. So in our class, you also not only be taught about what composites are, but you'll actually be given hands-on training to assemble and fabricate a real life enforced materials using composite materials. Also, there will be a lot of discussion in the specific course on giving you an idea how avionic systems of an aircraft actually works, their navigation, 
corresponding units, radio navigation and, and flight displays and all of those units, how they correspond to the information generator is, is taught specifically by our avionics professors. There is a lab and theory part of it to kind of give you a good understanding of how these microprocessors actually work. There's also going to be a lot of time spent on concurrent engineering, pr pr uh, product, product design and manufacturing. It's not about just knowing where to hit, hit which hammer to use and where to hit, but it's all about understanding how do you actually set everything up and what is the best way of ensuring the production and the operation rate is always up and running. So the, all that stuff is considered and explained in details on the theories applied in concurrent engineering and defining what manufacturing act techniques are actually used to assemble, let's say fuse dodge, or are or, or the wings for the first time mounted on the fuse itself. So all that will be covered in that phase. And who can forget about uh, quality assurance? We'll explore three uh, major areas, lean manufacturing, AS9100, uh, the aerospace quality standard based on the ISO 9001, Six Sigma. So all of that stuff will be explained in very good detail. So if you're a person who is actually interested in being a good quality coordinator or understanding how you can improve, the waste stages of material, that's that's something that we will be have in a lot of emphasis on your career. So the AMF program is not just limited to the uh, commercial aspect. It is also, we're gonna give you a little bit of introduction about helicopters. We have a certain week where we're gonna go through all the helicopter stuff. We have a couple in Fancho as well, so you will have a lab on it as well. And also introducing the newest form in aviation world, which is the unmanned air vehicle, the UAVs or the drones. Uh, Amazon and all these companies which are working heavily on and I know Amazon is, is really booming so that's one of the labs that you have a good introduction on. So not just the aircraft so you got to kind of get a flavor for a little bit for the drones as well. So to summarize all these courses will be taught they're all mandatory they're not selecting one or one or one or the other. So it's a whole package for you to have a good understanding on how aerospace actually works. You have, will have an understanding how the whole mechanics works, the certification work, to the quality process, the manufacturing process, understanding the designing software, and, and at the end, hands-on training on actually working on the aircraft itself. So all this is very unique. It's one of the rare programs in the world that you have a good theory and lab portion joined together in a way to give you a very good understanding, not just from a theoretical mindset, but also for understanding how things actually work. So students have had good success. Uh, we, have all, we have a lot of research work as part of our training as well, because you can read stuff uh, on your own as well, but what's the difference? The difference with us is that you actually, we encourage students to research sort of a lot of certification topics, and then we help them and coach them and understanding them better. So how the real life application is carried out. Uh, we've had some uh, projects done on, with Diamond Aircraft and Jet Aircraft Museum as well. A lot of our students, because of the way that the program is built, it's a lot, it's really engaging. So it's not just you listening to one guy speak all the time, it's, it's your engagement very much mandatory. So because of that, a lot of our students get really good grades and they're always in the Dean's list. And so, so far this track has been good and we rely on you to keep that one up, up and running as well because that's something we take a lot of pride in. Uh, the graduates now uh, for this program is now two plus years old. Uh, our curriculum consists of cutting edge technology. It's not something that we're, we're looking at stuff that was built when the jet engine industry actually really took a boom back in the 60s and the 70s. We actually are focusing on the newer stuff. We do update our program every semester just to understand the changes in the market and we can keep up with the trend so all our students are fully engaged and ready to go when they go out and have a good impact in their professional careers. So I get a lot of questions asked what, what to expect or where their graduates are now. So a lot of our graduates uh, were good students were actually able to get work at Bombardier, Toyota, Amazon, Mitsubishi, Diamond, and Saffron. So all these companies actually have uh, of our Fanshawe graduates that they're, they're, they're doing really well. They're helping the industry uh, and having a good impact. Uh, career opportunities. So I'll, I get this question asked so many times. Um, it's also part of orientation and everything. So just to give you guys an idea, there's so many things they can do with aerospace manufacturing because this program, like I said, it gives you a real life flavor of the whole market itself. Aerospace is really massive. You can't 
really pinpoint to a certain certain direction. It all depends where your key interests are. If your key interests are in designing, there's so many stuff you can do. Your instructions could be uh, writing reports, work orders, work instruction, planning or operations management, project analyst coordinating, customer support, uh, be the customer service engineering rep, uh, quality inspection and CATIA specialist, or even as a independent contractor specif uh, specialized for the AS9100 quality standard. So you go in and do your audits based on the, a lot of the ISO 9001 qualifications in narrow space. So all of that is part of what you can actually achieve uh, in, in this course. There's just obviously can't, I can't fit the whole program in 15 minutes, but this give you an idea what to expect. Our professors, our team are, are highly qualified and they are. The good thing about AMF is a lot of our professors are actually from the industry itself, like with the industry. Uh, they are working at Bombardier and Diamond and all these places where, so that they can provide the direct link between the industry and the school, what the latest requirements and, and what the career aspirations right now is, are in the market. So that's one of the advantages that we have in the program. Um, thank you so much for listening. So I'm going to be, we're going to be going through a uh, question and answer time. Uh, so hopefully we can answer all your questions and we can, we can, go, we can go into that. Connor? All right. Awesome. Well, thank you very, very much for that, Hassan. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, we can see that your email is just right there on the screen. So that's wonderful. I'm just going to ask you really quick, Hassan, to go to that very last slide of your presentation for just a quick second. You can come back to that one in a little bit. Um, but I just want to remind all of our attendees that if you do want to ask a question, uh, then you can please uh, use the questions feature. And if you want to open that, just click on the speech bubble. It's got a question mark and then you can just type your question in there. We do have some questions and we'll try to get through all of them. Uh, but at the off chance that we don't, or if you have anything after the session that you want to touch base on, we do recommend that you email uh, myfuture at fanshawc.ca, which is right there, that second email on the screen, uh, or you can book an appointment with one of our amazing recruitment officers uh, by going to fanshawc.ca slash connect. So I've just uh, put that in the chat for everybody to see. So let's get on to some questions here. So Hassan, the first question that we have is, how is the aerospace program any different than the AME program? Um, the difference between an AME program and an aerospace program is AME is, is specifically designed on maintenance of the aircraft, and it is a two-year long program that offers a diploma, whereas an AMF is a program that gives you a little bit of flavor from the AME side as well, but also helps you with the operations and manufacturing phase. So in reality, the AME students are going to be work focusing on getting their license and, and making a career as an aircraft maintenance engineer. But our graduates have a wider scope of they can be designers or quality analysts or project coordinators or even in, in operations management uh, based on this course that they have. Fantastic. Our next question here. Uh, I have no experience inside of aviation. Is this the right course for me? One of the beauties for this course is that we start from the ground zero. We, we, we do have a lot of things set up for people who actually are inspired by aviation, but for some reason uh, have not had a chance to make a career out of it. So, so as, we, as I said before, it's, it's for people who actually do have a bachelor. So all, most of the guys coming into this course have mechanical engineering or industrial engineering or something, electric, even electrical engineering. So for those people who have no idea how the aerospace work, we have one of the courses, aircraft mechanics from startup. We actually teach you how does the aircraft actually fly or and all the background information to kind of help you understand and it certainly will help you have a good career in aviation awesome that's great uh this is kind of a similar question to the last one but i am a mechanical engineer with no prior knowledge for aerospace is this the right choice for me uh i would certainly hope so because it all depends on your inspiration what you're actually inspiring towards uh We've, I've actually had, the reason I brought this example up, I've had at least 30% of my students in my class are mechanical engineers, if not more. And, wow. and most of them actually are like, are like you, are, don't have a lot of experience. So for them, obviously the flow of the program also depends on those guys. So make sure that they follow up. 
but this course is designed to make sure everybody is well equipped with and and to build enough blocks so you are are built nicely and ready to go out in the new vision. It's not a beginner's course, not by any means, but actually we start from the ground zero just so that you have enough information that you need for have a very successful career outside. Yeah, it's a really, really, you know, I guess refreshing thing to know that you're starting just, you know, from the bare bones and then building it, uh, you know, from the ground up. That's great. Um, our next question for you, Hassan, I have never worked hands-on in an aircraft before. Will I be able to succeed in this program? Yeah, absolutely, because we have about three, four courses have labs working hands-on specifically. I'm glad you asked that. And in our, one of our first labs, we take safety very, very seriously at Fanshawe. So you actually do get a good orientation of all your surroundings, because surroundings is very, very important. Even somebody who's been in the industry for 15, 20 years, you still got to be aware of your surroundings. So we actually teach you how to use tools, how to hold them safely and, and understand and, and look at all the precautions that you actually have to carry out. So we are heavy on our PPEs, on our floor, safety shoes and safety glasses are absolutely mandatory. So, so with all that stuff, we take, safe, like I said, safety very seriously. So it's not like you'll be given a, a screw gun to, okay, go and screw, start throwing the, those panels over there. We'll actually work with you and make sure that you're absolutely safe and then start helping you learn more knowledge on that. Awesome. That's good to hear. Our next question for you, Hassan, it's relating to COVID, but what impact has COVID made on the job market for aerospace? COVID has certainly uh, hit the market really, really hard. Uh, one phrase that I use in my class all the time is that aerospace and aviation is that market in the world. Is one year you feel you can buy a Ferrari and one, one year you'll feel, okay, I can't even go get a burger. So it's one of that amazing industry that anything can happen. Unfortunately, this year is one of the bad ones that we've had in a very long time in this market. But the bubble itself is expanding out because aircrafts are meant to fly and they can't stay on the ground forever. Their, their mode changes. When I say mode is, okay, if the passengers aren't really flying too much with the commercial aspect. But right now, a lot of people don't know the business jet market is booming right now. At Bombardier, their production rates for this last quarter, the requests have been insane. And now they're actually recalling people back that were laid off during COVID. Not, so it's a good start. So I'm because all these corporations, all the big personnel, they're still using business that's where private jet, private, oh sorry, commercial aircraft aren't available. So that is a good sign to actually get the market back, and hopefully very soon we can have the passenger market up and up running as well. That's great. Yeah, I think it's really really good to adapt to a changing market, and I think that you know now going into a program inside of school where it's just so. You know, it's so variable and it's so diverse. Um, you know, it's really nice to be able to know that you can adapt to change and that there are just so many different things happening. So I think that that's a wonderful, you know, part of this program. Uh, our next question, Hassan, is so you touched a little bit on this, but what kind of jobs can you get after your, um, you know, sort of your program uh, completion? You mentioned a couple different places where some of our grads have been hired. Um, and maybe as a follow up to that question, what have some of those, um, you know, bigger sort of companies and organizations uh, said about the hiring of Fanshawe students? Have we heard uh, much positive feedback from them? The feedback has been actually pretty great. Diamond has been pretty good vocal about that as well, that the, the information taught to these students, what they're actually relying on is good. Uh, job market is, is, I get this question asked so many times, and the best way to answer it is, is what do you want to do in aviation? This program actually serves as a good starting point to give you an overall view of the industry itself. So if you are a person who is good with computers, who is good with designing, and obviously we're going to teach you TS offer, you're up and running in that direction. If you are a person like me who's more interested in operations and management and all that stuff, so this program will give you the tools and understanding how aircraft and all the different techniques actually work in process management and project management. We have a course specialized in that, and then you can build your career in that direction. Or you're something as simple as I like to build stuff and I like to be an aircraft assembler. That's something you can use that as a technique to work yourself on. There's the there's no cap for this program that uh, that uh, you can only get this job. With the beauty of this program is is like I said, it all depends what interest the student actually picks up, and then. I always say it's your journey, it's your movie. So if you like something, what are you gonna do in your movie to build yourself to go to the end? So you like like designing, okay, what else? You've got to practice, 
you learn more things about in the program and then you get yourself really good with Katia and then you look for jobs based on specifically in that market. So, so a lot of that we at, at Fanshawe, we actually help our students immensely in identifying their, their talents. Some students actually feel that they don't know what they want to go. They just want to go outside and work somewhere. With those students, I, I, I tell them to continue with the program and see me two months before you graduate. At that point, I can tell them based on how their grades are, where they're really good at and where they can actually make a good career out of it or what their strong points are. And then we help them and coach them to go and find their end, end product. So, so that's something we actually help a lot in our students. One of our, one of my lectures in my class, I actually, actually do dedicate specifically on resume writing and high, highlighting the importance of where do you actually want to go. So, so we'll work with you in full detail to make sure you're fully comfortable for the market. Awesome, that's really, really great. I really love what you were saying uh, earlier about how you know you really prompt students to ask the question, well, what do you want to do? Uh, in terms of aerospace, because um, it's just it, it's it's such an open book approach to you know really trying to open up as many doors as possible to let students know that hey you don't have to be pigeonholed into doing you know one or two very very specific things. There's a whole wealth of you know knowledge and industry out there that could use uh, your expertise out of the program. So I think that that's a fantastic uh, way and a really really good you know sort of testament to any program out there. Our next question is based on courses. Uh, what's a good complementary course to the AMF program? Um, it's so with AMF you learn a lot about engineering and you also learn a lot about operations as well. So the three courses that I do, or four courses actually that I do recommend a lot of my students to go because it actually helps with their interest, is if if you're into operations, then a project management course at Fanshawe is also pretty good. There's a design course for mechanical engineering at Fanshawe that's that's widely used. A lot of our students actually are graduates from that program coming here as a second course. But I feel uh, from the, speaking with the coordinator, that's a good course that you can complement your interest with. The drone certification course that we have at the Northern Wolf School in London here in Fanshawe, that's a good compliment. Uh, that, uh, the coordinator for that program is actually one of the professors for one of our labs as well, to give you an idea on how it is. And that's why we have a little bit of interest for the drones. And also, like I said before, if you're interested, hands-on, then we also have a great structural program here at Fanshawe that you can use as well. Wonderful, yeah, a lot of really, really diverse options there to take for complimentary courses. Uh, our next question is campus specific and the question is will all of our classes be at the airport campus or at the main campus and I want to stress to everybody watching here when we say main campus uh, we mean the London Ontario campus there's a couple different campuses here in London but the London campus is the one just right here on Fanshawe College Boulevard uh, so just wanted to clear that up so Hassan I'll let you answer that. That's actually a very good question and a good point on, on indicating the Fanshawe part because it's because we have so many campuses around. Um, I'll, I, about, I would say about 70-75% of your classes will be at the hangar because most of your professors are industry driven so so by, and I know buses aren't necessarily available after hours around five or six from the airport campus. That's why in order to facilitate uh, ease of transportation for all the students, we have some of the theory classes at the main campus. I know a lot of my, all my classes are at the main campus just because they're at a different time zone. And uh, one of the other professors actually do. So you have some theory classes there, but all your labs and all the other stuff will, all of them will be at the London campus. Oh yeah, I mean the airport campus, sorry. <laughs> no, problem. Kind of confused with that. no, 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 it's all good. Okay, awesome. Uh, I think we have time for one more question here. And it's a pretty big question, but a really, really important one. How does Fanshawe's AMF program compared to the other AMF programs in the country? Uh, is there anything that makes Fanshawe's program unique? Well, one of the biggest things that we have is a lot of professors for the Fanshawe program here, uh, AMF program here, they care about the student success a lot, like big time. So we, we, we don't look at the students only in class time and all that. We actually provide good off-site support as well. And I'll give you an example, like for all of my students, I help them out with their references. The first batch that graduated two years ago, I, they still reach out for me. Well, for any of you should ask that last week, one of my students actually did reach out and asking for a reference for another job that he's applying. So we, and, and the, we provide them coaching and tips, even though if you graduate at Fanshawe, you're, you're not done with us. We're always there uh, here to support you 
and guide you. And and the way that Fanshaws is better than the other ones, I would say, is the industry uh, specialists that we have, the aircrafts that we have. We're being right on the airport, obviously helps. And it's a good a good tool in understanding see where it is. And Diamond being so close to Fanshawe, so you we're basically right there with the industry. So um, we're, we're we're there for you. Awesome. Yeah, it, it's it it's such an important part of Fanshawe, the entire model around student success. And we really, really appreciate wonderful people uh, like yourself who are here, not just for the students while they're in class, but more importantly, as soon as they get out of, you know, sort of the Fanshawe cycle, uh, then they can still feel incredibly confident that they can contact you for any help that they might need. So. Uh, I just want to thank you very, very much again, Hassan, for your time and for your presentation. There was a lot of really wonderful knowledge in this presentation. I am going to just get you to go to, I believe it might be the second last slide or the last slide. Um, just want to bring that up really quickly. Uh, and thank you, everybody, uh, for submitting your questions. Uh, for some more info on this topic, we've left um, uh, Hassan's email just right here on this slide, so you can contact him directly if you have any questions, or you can also book an appointment with one of our recruiters. You can email the email address on screen right now, myfutureatfanshawseed.ca, or you can go to the link, which I've also posted in the chat, at fanshawseed.ca slash connect, and you can book something one-on-one -on -one with, again, our amazing recruitment team. So thank you very much again, Hassan, and we look forward to hopefully seeing some of you in the AMF program very soon. Take care. Thank you, thank you very much for having me. Have a good one. Take care. No problem. Bye, everyone.